In mathematics and computer science, connectivity is one of the basic concepts of graph theory. It asks for the minimum number of elements, nodes or edges that need to be removed to disconnect the remaining nodes from each other. It is closely related to the theory of network flow problems. The connectivity of a graph is an important measure of its resilience as a network. Topic: <laughs> Connected graph. An undirected graph is connected when there is a path between every pair of vertices. In a connected graph, there are no unreachable vertices. A graph that is not connected is disconnected. An undirected graph G is said to be disconnected if there exist two nodes in G such that no path in G has those nodes as endpoints. A graph with just one vertex is connected. An edgeless graph with two or more vertices is disconnected. Definitions of components, cuts and connectivity In an undirected graph G, two vertices U and V are called connected if G contains a path from U to V. Otherwise, they are called disconnected. If the two vertices are additionally connected by a path of length 1, i.e. by a single edge, the vertices are called adjacent. A graph is said to be connected if every pair of vertices in the graph is connected. A connected component is a maximal connected subgraph of G. Each vertex belongs to exactly one connected component, as does each edge. A directed graph is called weakly connected if replacing all of its directed edges with undirected edges produces a connected undirected graph. It is connected if it contains a directed path from U to V or a directed path from V to U for every pair of vertices U, V. It is strongly connected, diconnected, or simply strong if it contains a directed path from U to V and a directed path from V to U for every pair of vertices U, V. The strong components are the maximal strongly connected subgraphs. A cut, vertex cut, or separating set of a connected graph G is a set of vertices whose removal renders G disconnected. The connectivity or vertex connectivity kappa G where G is not a complete graph is the size of a minimal vertex cut. A graph is called K-connected or K-vertex-connected if its vertex connectivity is K or greater. More precisely, any graph G complete or not is said to be K-connected if it contains at least K plus 1 vertices, but does not contain a set of K minus 1 vertices whose removal disconnects the graph, and kappa G is defined as the largest K such that G is K-connected. In particular, a complete graph with n vertices, denoted knots, has no vertex cuts at all, but kappa knots. Topic n minus one. A vertex cut for two vertices U and V is a set of vertices whose removal from the graph disconnects U and V. The local connectivity kappa U V is the size of a smallest vertex cut separating U and V. Local connectivity is symmetric for undirected graphs, that is, kappa U V. Kappa v, u. Moreover, except for complete graphs, kappa G equals the minimum of kappa u, v over all nonadjacent pairs of vertices U, V. Two connectivity is also called biconnectivity, and three connectivity is also called triconnectivity. A graph G which is connected but not too connected is sometimes called separable. Analogous concepts can be defined for edges. In the simple case in which cutting a single, specific edge would disconnect the graph, that edge is called a bridge. 
More generally, an edge cut of G is a set of edges whose removal renders the graph disconnected. The edge connectivity λ is the size of a smallest edge cut, and the local edge connectivity λ of two vertices U, V is the size of a smallest edge cut disconnecting U from V. Again, local edge connectivity is symmetric. A graph is called K edge connected if its edge connectivity is K or greater. A graph is said to be maximally connected if its connectivity equals its minimum degree. A graph is said to be maximally edge connected if its edge connectivity equals its minimum degree. Topic: <laughs> Super and hyperconnectivity. A graph is said to be super connected or super kappa if every minimum vertex cut isolates a vertex. A graph is said to be hyper connected or hyper kappa if the deletion of each minimum vertex cut creates exactly two components, one of which is an isolated vertex. A graph is semi hyper connected or semi hyper kappa if any minimum vertex cut separates the graph into exactly two components. More precisely, a G connected graph is said to be super connected or super kappa if all minimum vertex cuts consist of the vertices adjacent with one minimum degree vertex. A G connected graph is said to be super edge connected or super lambda if all minimum edge cuts consist of the edges incident on some minimum degree vertex. A cutset X of G is called a non-trivial cutset if X does not contain the neighborhood n u of any vertex u X. Then the superconnectivity kappa one of G is kappa one G equals min x x is a non trivial cutset a non trivial edge cut and the edge superconnectivity lambda 1 g are defined analogously equals topic menger's theorem equals one of the most important facts about connectivity in graphs is Menger's theorem, which characterizes the connectivity and edge connectivity of a graph in terms of the number of independent paths between vertices. If U and V are vertices of a graph G, then a collection of paths between U and V is called independent if no two of them share a vertex other than U and V themselves. Similarly, the collection is edge independent if no two paths in it share an edge. The number of mutually independent paths between U and V is written as kappa U, v, and the number of mutually edge independent paths between U and V is written as lambda U, v. Menger's theorem asserts that for distinct vertices u, v, lambda u, v, equals lambda u, v, and if u is also not adjacent to v then kappa u, v, equals kappa u, v. This fact is actually a special case of the max flow min cut theorem. <laughs> Computational aspects The problem of determining whether two vertices in a graph are connected can be solved efficiently using a search algorithm, such as breadth-first search. More generally, it is easy to determine computationally whether a graph is connected for example, by using a disjoint set data structure, or to count the number of connected components. A simple algorithm might be written in pseudo-code as follows. Begin at any arbitrary node of the graph, G. Proceed from that node using either depth first or breadth first search, counting all nodes reached. Once the graph has been entirely traversed, if the number of nodes counted is equal to the number of nodes of G, the graph is connected, otherwise, it is disconnected. By Menger's theorem, for any two vertices U and V in a connected graph G, the numbers kappa U, V and lambda U, V can be determined efficiently using the max flow min cut algorithm. 
the connectivity and edge connectivity of G can then be computed as the minimum values of kappa U, v, and lambda U, v, respectively. In computational complexity theory, SL is the class of problems log space reducible to the problem of determining whether two vertices in a graph are connected, which was proved to be equal to L by Omer Rheingold in 2004. Hence, undirected graph connectivity may be solved in O log N space. The problem of computing the probability that a Bernoulli random graph is connected is called network reliability and the problem of computing whether two given vertices are connected the Saint reliability problem. Both of these are hash p-hard. Number of connected graphs The number of distinct connected labeled graphs with n nodes is tabulated in the online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences as sequence A001187, through n. equals 15. The first few non-trivial terms are equals Examples equals The vertex and edge connectivities of a disconnected graph are both zero. One connectedness is equivalent to connectedness for graphs of at least two vertices. The complete graph on n vertices has edge connectivity equal to n minus 1. Every other simple graph on n vertices has strictly smaller edge connectivity. In a tree, the local edge connectivity between every pair of vertices is 1. <laughs> Bounds on connectivity The vertex connectivity of a graph is less than or equal to its edge connectivity. That is, kappa G lambda G. Both are less than or equal to the minimum degree of the graph, since deleting all neighbors of a vertex of minimum degree will disconnect that vertex from the rest of the graph. For a vertex transitive graph of degree d, we have 2 d plus 1, 3 kappa g lambda g equals d. For a vertex transitive graph of degree d4, or for any undirected minimal Cayley graph of degree d, or for any symmetric graph of degree d, both kinds of connectivity are equal, kappa g. Lambda G D Topic Other properties Connectedness is preserved by graph homomorphisms. If G is connected, then its line graph L G is also connected. A graph G is two-edge connected if and only if it has an orientation that is strongly connected. Balinski's theorem states that the polytopal graph one skeleton of a k-dimensional convex polytope is a k-vertex connected graph. Steinitz's previous theorem that any three-vertex connected planar graph is a polytopal graph Steinitz theorem gives a partial converse. According to a theorem of G. A. Dirac, if a graph is k connected for k2, then for every set of k vertices in the graph there is a cycle that passes through all the vertices in the set. The converse is true when k equals 2 equals Topic See also equals algebraic connectivity chiga constant graph theory dynamic connectivity disjoint set data structure partition refinement expander graph graph property scale free network 
small world networks, six degrees of separation, small world phenomenon strength of a graph <laughs>